Alright, I have fucked up trying to film this video three times, but I've got my makeup done, I've got my big hoop energy going, I've got my son with me, I'm ready to go. Let's film this video and let me not fuck it up this time. Alright, so big week. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not filming last week. Uh, I was struggling a lot with depression and um, anxiety due to midterms and just seasonal depression, so I really didn't have it in me to... Um, film or upload anything. I also didn't know what to film or upload when I was in a mood like that. Um, thank you for your patience. Moving on to the good news. Um, I have over 10 subscribers, you guys. Why do you like me? I don't know. Um, but to celebrate this massive milestone and looking back upon once upon a time when I only had two subscribers, which were my brother and my best friend, um, who are still my target audience, by the way. Thank you for still watching. Um, I decided to do a giveaway because I'm a good person like that. So to enter the giveaway, you have to subscribe and comment down below with something you would like to see me do or something you would like to see me talk about on this channel. And what you can win is a beautiful custom piece of pottery that I made. Um, and I will ship anywhere in the continental United States. Didn't fuck the video up this time. Hell yeah. So what to talk about this week? Uh, let's talk about dudes. Let's talk about dating. Let's talk about being vulnerable and being weird and putting yourself out there and putting obscene amounts of makeup on your face. It's all Walgreens. It's not expensive. But like putting makeup on your face or not putting makeup on your face. And what's the benefit? And if is there a benefit? And confidence. And what's really sexy? Um, these are all my opinion, but we're gonna fucking talk about it anyway, because it's my channel. So, let's talk about dudes, first of all. First of all, I'm bi. So, um, I like the pole and the hole. If you know anyone who's single and looking and likes the chunky yet funky girl, I am there for it. Uh, I am a 31-year-old woman who is willing to give you what little advice she can. Um, so yeah. I don't date very often and that's on me um I'm pretty self-conscious which is stupid that is not Lizzo energy that's not big hoop energy I'm a big hoop girl I need to have my big hoop energy um so I'm really trying to work on being more confident uh being more vulnerable to people the last date I went on was two years ago with um hands down the hottest dude I've ever seen in my life uh I asked him out and the fact that he said yes still blows my mind because like you know have you ever been near someone who is so hot that your number goes up in comparison like he's a 10 and I was like my seven was like whoop, 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 whoop. um yeah that was what that was like I hope he doesn't see this I'm pretty sure he would figure out who he is hi but like you you fine as hell. Anyway, he wasn't looking for anything and I totally respect that because nobody owes me their time or their energy or their emotions or an explanation. It's totally cool to be open and honest with someone and be like, hey, I had a good time, but I don't see this going anywhere. So you could still be friends with that person. If you thought that person was cool enough to date, they're definitely cool enough to be your friend. Um, and if you think, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't be friends with someone who doesn't want to fuck me, what? No, they don't. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes me anything. Um, I mean, maybe Ted owes me a little kiss. You want to give me a kiss? He did it. He did it. Oh my god. My son's the best boy. Um, yeah, be vulnerable. And then there's something about, like, again, I... I'm very self-conscious about my body. I, um, I've struggled with an eating disorder, so my weight has yo-yoed a lot over the years. And then I remembered that the guys I find hottest are the ones who are super confident. And they don't have to be physically attractive. I've had crushes on dudes who are shorter than me, who are older than me. Um, you know, sometimes it's just confidence. Like, my best friend and I have talked repeatedly about how um, James Gandolfini... Mr. Soprano is so hot because he got that big dick energy real bad. Um, but yeah, like there are, there are tons of people who are just not that attractive physically, but they just, 
who's that charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Um, so yeah, try and be confident. Just be comfortable with who you are, uh, which can be hard. I mean, I don't feel the most confident all the time, which is one of the reasons why I have a hard time being vulnerable, have a hard time being out there. If you followed me on Instagram, you've probably seen like three or four times they've posted like a shoot your shot, we're all rooting for you, I'm rooting for you thing to dudes. Uh, and the only one who responded was my best friend. Hey, Amy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's totally normal to not know who you are. And the older I've gotten, the more I've realized that nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. You know, as far as dating goes, nobody really knows who they are. You just kind of fake it till you make it until you die. Um, which sounds horrible, but... I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's actually kind of cool that people are constantly growing and figuring out who they are and changing who they are and setting new boundaries. And, you know, that's great. I think that's one of the beautiful things about being a person and uh, being out there in the community. So anyway, that was a long, weird rant about dudes and what's hot and what's not. Uh, basically, be confident. Uh, don't, if you get rejected, let's talk about rejection really quick. Rejection sucks. Um, it does, but it's not the end of the world. And rejection's gonna happen everywhere. Rejection's gonna happen when you apply to school. Rejection's gonna happen when you apply for jobs. It's gonna happen on dates. Uh, it's gonna happen before you even go on a date. It's gonna happen with friends. Like, it happens. But that's not a bad thing. And again, if you thought someone was cool enough to date, they're definitely cool enough to be your friend. Um, yeah, I mean... Also, let it go. If they say no, I mean, it sucks, but let it go. It's fine. If you can, be friends with that person. If not, that's fine. It's on them. You know, because again, nobody owes you an explanation. Nobody owes you their energy. There have been plenty of dudes I've been into who have not been into me. And there have been plenty of dudes who have been into me that I want nothing to do with. And that's fine. That's fair. That's normal. Um... Yeah, just be yourself. Keep your big hoop energy on, even when you're not wearing your big hoops. Think about Ted. Be like Ted. Oh my god, he's dead in the world. He sleeping? He was sleeping. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Again, if you want to enter to win a piece of pottery, all you have to do is subscribe and comment down below with something you would like to see me do or talk about. Um, if you like this makeup look, uh, give that a thumbs up. I don't do my makeup very often. This is my first time in about three months. Uh, it feels good. It feels good. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye!